Corey? Yes. Do you know Rob G? Oh, you better believe it. I've done a shot of Malort with that man. We have. We had a business meeting and we all did Malort because in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Today, uh, our top patron, 200, stop coughing. Sorry. $250 a month. Rob said you guys got to go to Byron's Hot Dogs. You love hot dogs. They got a couple around the city. So today we're on Lawrence Avenue. Rob, this is for you and all of you Sixers. Byron's Hot Dogs. Let's go. Dogzillas from Byron's, Rob G, probably another great rack, acquired jump cut. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tray up. I always think about what it would be like to live like this close to a place like this. Or like your apartment's right there, you smell those like Vienna beef right? all day. You get home from the bar and you're like, well, obviously I know where I'm going. You know, it's like such a no brainer. I just like, I have to pick some places to not live because I would be 500 pounds. Oh my God! Are you okay? So what's this shit made out of anyway? Uh, steel? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Corey Wagner second angle. Okay, just the size of these things this is hilarious. All right, open it up. We got nice little white paper. Oh my god, dude, it's so big. <laughs> I don't know if the camera. I mean, hand for yeah. Put a hand for reference. Yeah, like, pick it face up for, for a second. Like, just like, a, dude, put it in your palm. This is the palm of a man's hand. That's a man hand palm dog. That is a big boy. She had man hands. She had man hands. <laughs> The hands of a man. The hands of a man. Yeah, I mean, you you can't tell. I mean, if you can't tell Sixers how big that that I mean, like, beef here, is, we'll do it on my forearm. That's an even big. Yeah, because you got big forearms. That takes up always... my whole arm, my whole forearm. Yeah, that is absolutely freakishly. This is a Shaquille O'Neal penis. <laughs> well, come on, man. This is a massive beast. Hello from the grin on the face of the beast. He seems to be in pretty good spirits tonight. Just absolutely smothered in onions, which I love covered in mustard and what they do is they do some cuts in here you're seeing that was on purpose they do that so that'll cook through i was watching them do it on the grill you don't want a shriveled dog you don't want a uncooked dog yeah that's the idea kind of that's big deal they do it so that the inside cooks yeah look at that cut. science science food science so you can get whatever you want on it you can go a bunch of jardinera and get tomatoes whatever your heart desires keeping it kind of traditional today onions and mustard this is massive oh yeah like it's taking up the whole screen there look at that looks massive dogzilla is that what it's called yeah couple of guys on a hot sunny day in chicago sitting in a car eating dogzilla eating dogzillas this is the byron's hot dog on lawrence dogzilla cheers cheers no, this is so massive. That's pretty good, good too. Good beef. Mm-hmm. That's good beef. Wow. This is absolutely unbelievable. I'm gonna take this piece off because I want to get to where the onions are. Oh my god. How do you not laugh when you're eating this? Right? Who's getting this? <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, that's it, right? Shaq is huge! <laughs> oh man. It's so good! These onions are so good. Dude, slather anything up in onions for me, man. Except yeah. for ice cream. I'm gonna be about it. I only want to take onion bites. Mm, dude, I was worried about it being like because it's so big, the bun you would just be at holding a dog at the end and nothing else. Mine, like the way they did it, I think I'll be good. Yeah, right. It's all dirty to me. That's got to be Vienna beef. After Vienna beef package, they're like, dude, do a big one for us. Oh, also we saw pictures. Uh, Obama is a fan of this place. You got pictures of Obama in there. They sell Byron's hot dog White House T-shirts for fifteen dollars. So I think I theorize that they've delivered their hot dogs to the White House mm -hmm. because their shirt says White House Washington. We delivered, and they had pictures of with them with Michelle and Barack at the White House. So I have a feeling that they delivered some hot dogs as like a bit to the White House, yeah. possibly. I, honestly, I don't know. I'm hoping the clips can be found. I got a phone call, to be honest with you, I thought it was a prank phone call. 
How many times does a hot dog stand get a phone call from the senator's office? They want us to go to the White House. They wanted us to come to the White House and, and serve Chicago-style hot dogs. It was just, it was great. Everything came together like a miracle. I'll never forget it. I'll keep that with me forever. So they had like all the traditional Chicago ones in there too. They had Italian beefs, they had Euros. You see something on the menu called Dogzilla. You gotta get it. And you got a food review channel. You don't skip on that. You don't. And we didn't. This is something, man. There's been days where I've been hungry enough where I've been like, I need that. Mm -hmm. That's what this is exclusively for. You know what problem this solves and I think why they did it? What's that, world hunger? <laughs> Some people hate when they're having a Chicago style dog or a, a ballpark dog and they take that last bite of dog and they're still holding bun. Mm. That must have made the creator of this so angry mm -hmm. <laughs> that he goes, we see the casing of the hot dog. Can we get like two casings to make it stronger and then load it with yep. triple the amount of meat? Took two casings, sewed them together. Yeah. It was six dollars for a dog. Which is not too bad for how much dog you're getting. And especially because in Chicago, six dollars to be full is tough to do. Right. So take it. Don't leave it, eat it. It'd be like a takeout slogan for some like company that's not doing well. Take it, don't leave it, eat it. <laughs> that actually was a really good, flows off the tongue well. <laughs> I like it. Byron's to go, take it, don't leave it, eat it. Dude, and it said in there, there was a little poster, GQ, best french fries. GQ said they were the best french fries. Now, I didn't know GQ was out there deciding that. I didn't even, people who read GQ eat french fries? <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> that was wow. fantastic. Really happy that we got that. Rob, once again, he knocks it out of the park. And you guys will see, we've done a Rob G recommendation that's coming out in the future. Oh, which is another dog spot. And that might be the best dog of all time. Oh my God. Look at it. Dude, it's, bro, it was one of the, man. I, I was think. mad that I hadn't been there before. Look at this bun. Dude, Rob's the best, man. He is the best. Tomorrow, if you didn't see yesterday, Corey and Sean YouTube channel went live. Brand new vlogging channel. We're taking over Chicago, at least what I say. It's a Sean must decides. See. I don't speak for Corey, it's speaking a must for see. myself. Awesome video at Beer Underglass. It's linked below. Go subscribe, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to that. Tomorrow, the electric Eric Ely the is in the back club. seat slamming some Pizza Hut double mm. chicken jalapeno pizza. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the bodybuilding pie with the electric Eric Ely in the back seat, boys. Cheers. 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 Good luck, September 14th. Sir. But right now, I want to give some shout outs to people that just don't stop supporting the show. Don't stop supporting. Sign up for a Patreon tier. <laughs> Patreon channel, Patreon channel, Patreon channel. These are all the amazing human beings who support our channel more than any, any, anyone else. They donate to our channel and in doing so, we're able to buy all this food and uh, upgrade our equipment and do all kinds of really cool things. Absolutely. For Patreon shout out number one, we're going with Kevin Fendry. Oh, I love Kevin Fendry, yeah. What a guy. And he's on the $10 tier, which means he gets to be uh, invited to our exclusive hangout once a month. We like to get together on a live chat with all of our homiest of homies yeah. and uh, just chat it up. And we really just drink beers and kind of hang out and answer questions and chat and yeah. BS. It's kind of fun. We just assume everybody else is also drinking, so it, it helps us know. It's more social for us. Yeah. If it's just me and him drinking, that's like sad. <laughs> yeah. And uh, patron shout out name number two is a $5 tier patron. They get their name shouted out. They're in the, the list of people below every video. You know how it is, okay? This is Corey DeLaurentis. Sorry well, that was gonna be one where, listen, in school, all growing up, he there's knows. no way people were just like, Nail every time that. perfect. Yeah. Like, Corey DeLaurentis. DeLaurentis. Corey, Kevin, thank you so much. Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Find out which kind of tier works for you. You get rewards. I mean, if you sign up for 25 and over, you just get a free shirt. Free shirts. So there's a lot of fun stuff. So thank you guys so much. All right, Byron's, Lawrence Avenue, hot Chicago day. It's Wednesday. The week's been great with videos. We got more coming, but let's rate that and get out of this sweat box. Yeah. Out of five, Byron Leftwich. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Marshall, bro, him getting carried up the field by his linemen, throwing passes all day, dude. He's a Mac freaking Hall of Famer, dude. Out of five Byron Leftwiches, how many Byron left? <laughs> Stop coughing! I'm By sick! Byron Leftwiches. You're the only one who can be sick around here! I'm sick! <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm moody when I'm sick. I know why they're sick. They're probably made out. Yeah, well, I mean, that's... How many Byron Leftwiches do you give Dogzilla from Byron's here on Lawrence Corey? Bro, that place is amazing. I want to try some of the other stuff there, Me of too. course. That was, like, of course, gimmicky, but it, it worked. It was massive. It was huge. <laughs> I love onions. I love when people don't skimp on stuff, and they weren't little tiny bit. They were 
they did fat cuts Thick. of those bad boys. Three C's. So good, slathered in mustard. I mean, it is the king of hot dogs. I've never seen a dog that big. So, 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 so good. For me personally, I will not probably ever be getting that again unless I come off some starvation diet. We'd have I, to split it. We'd have, even then, I just don't really like biting into something <laughs> that big. It's like a little much for me, but I love that they did it. It's fun. I, like there's people out there who probably do want that. That's not necessarily for me, even though it was like a heck of a taste. Right. I right. do want to try some of the other stuff. Um, but just for the gimmick alone and the fact that they went out and made something that big and it still tasted good with such simple ingredients, I'm giving that a four, man. Uh, that's that's so good. Been so on the same page lately. Yeah, yep. All those things are so true. But the way the mustard mixed with the onions mm -hmm. and the greasiness of the dog, that felt like you're at a baseball game with your dad and he buys you that first time you get a stadium hot dog, right? Was, yeah. When you're a kid, that's massive to you. Right. That's the adult version of that's that. That's five. Yeah. It's just proportionally. Right. Kept your growth. The amount you've grown since you were five. Hot dog. How much that hot dog grew? Four. <laughs> Byron's. Thank you so much for the amazing food. Rob G. Thanks for the two out of two recommendations. Yep. Sixers. Um, if you are the early content Sixers, that video that we're talking about, that hot dog is already live for you guys. So you can go watch that now and just see how Rob G keeps killing it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow at Pizza Hut with Eric Ely, my brother, in full wrestling gear. Show a clip. <laughs> Let's roll. Hey, what the hell? Who is this guy? What the hell's going on here? And we'll see you then. Have a good rest of the day. Bye. In my city, I'm the man. In my city, I'm the shit. In my city, I'm the hometown.